Alright, now I'm going to demonstrate, let me fix my mic here, sorry. <laughs> I'm going to demonstrate the X-Wing technique. I probably should have started with that before I did the skyscraper, but uh, oh well, I just went in a different order. But uh, what we're looking at here, same concept as skyscraper, or a very similar concept to it. You're going to look for two rows or two columns where there's a possibility of two numbers. So in this case here, we're seeing that there's, in this row, there's a possibility of a four here or here. And in this row, there's a possibility of a four here or here. And you can see that this forms a box shape. The reason why it's called an X-wing is because if you look at these, these four cells and you look at this shape, again, this creates a if this then that scenario. So why it's called an X-wing is if this is a four, we know that a four cannot exist here or here, which means this would be a four. And if you draw a line from here to there, you got one line there, imaginary line. Now if we go back and you look at this cell and you say if a 4 exists here, then it can't exist here or here, which means it would exist here. And then again, this, these two can see each other kitty corner like that. So that forms another line, which creates an X. And they just, whoever named this technique called it X-Wing for that reason. But what's important to notice about this technique is because these two rows have these unique numbers in them, or possibilities of numbers, um, and it forms a box shape, now you have the ability to eliminate numbers because two cells can see each other in both directions. So here, if you look at this column, there's a possibility of a four here or here, but I'm going to mark those as pink, meaning they're not going to, they can't exist there because, again, we've, we've already eliminated them as a possibility by saying that if this is a 4, then that's not a 4, but if this is a 4, then this isn't a 4. So we know, no matter what, the 4 has to be either here or here. So these two cannot exist as a 4. And same thing over on this side. If we look at these two and we just look through this whole column at what other cells have a 4 in it that these two cells can see, it's here, here, and here. And since they're visible by these two cells, they can also be eliminated as possibilities as a 4 because the 4 can only exist in one of these two cells. It's just, it has to be. So because of that, there's no chance that a 4 could exist in any of these cells. If there was a, a 4 down here, here, or here as a possibility, you could eliminate those as well. Obviously, we don't have anything like that right now, but I'm just saying that because those two are able to see this whole column and they're the only possibility for a 4, it just rules out any other possibility anywhere through this column. And now that we know that, we can actually go through highlight all five of these cells and say exclude a four and now we no longer have those there it ruled them out and it freed up more possibilities for where we could get other uh, solutions narrowed down 